Gainesville Health and Fitness joins us today to talk about the benefits of the front squat versus the back squat. Trainer Marcus Thompson points out some key differences and shows you how to perfect both of those exercises. Hi, my name is Marcus Thompson. I'm a personal trainer here at Gainesville Health and Fitness, and today we're going to cover the fundamentals of the squat. Alrighty, so we're going to break down um, the benefits of the front squat versus the back squat. One of the main benefits is going to be the ability to keep your torso more upright in the front squat compared to going into the back squat. Another difference or benefit is going to be the ability um, to have less compressive force on your spine when doing a front squat versus doing a back squat. For so, so for someone with back issues, a front squat could be more beneficial and more of a safe exercise compared to a back squat. All right, before we get into the actual movement, let's break down how we're gonna be holding the bar. So there's two ways to grip the bar. Here's the first one in this front rack position, keeping the elbows nice and high. As you can see, this requires a great deal of shoulder flexibility, so this may not be the one for you. The alternative would be here, crossing over. You still want to keep the elbows nice and high to keep the bar secure, but this one doesn't require quite as much shoulder flexibility. Alright, so let's break down the front squat movement. As you can see, I prefer this way here, but from here, we're going to drive the hips back, drive the knees out, and keep the chest tall, keeping our back nice and neutral. Squeezing the glutes to extend the hips to complete the rep. All right, just a reminder, my name is Marcus Thompson. I'm a personal trainer here at Gainesville Health and Fitness, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.